The Three Little Pigs by Nick Sharrett and Stephen Tucker. Read by Anna Chancellor. The Three Little Pigs liked living at home, although the house was small. But when new babies came along, there just wasn't room for them all. It's time we left, the piggies said, and built homes of our own. And as they kissed their mum goodbye, she said, Be sure to phone. The pigs set off, and in a field they saw a heap of straw. I'll build my house of that, said one. Straw's nice and quick, I'm sure. The second pig looked all around and spied a nearby wood. I'll build my house of sticks he squeaked. Sticks are really good. To build a house, the third pig said, I know the thing to choose. Not straw or sticks, but solid bricks. Yes, they're the things to use. And carefully he laid his bricks, one by one by one. He built four walls and then the roof. At last his work was done. Now close by was another house, and a big bad wolf lived there. His fridge was very empty, his cupboards were quite bare. The wolf had eaten all the food. That's why he was so big. I fancy something else, he said, and what I'd like is pig. He went to see his neighbour in his nice new house of straw. But the piggy saw him coming, ran inside and locked the door. Said Wolf, if you don't let me in, then I shall huff and puff and blow your house down. <gasps> Which he did, and one puff was enough. The piggy just escaped in time and ran round to his brother. And when the wolf knocked on the door, they clung on to each other. They shouted, Wolfie, go away! He blew. They thought he might. <gasps> the house of sticks came tumbling down. The wolf snarled, serves you right. He chased the piggies down the lane and would have caught them, but their brother shouted, In here, quick! Then slammed the front door shut. And <laughs> now I've got you, laughed the wolf. It won't take very long to blow this little house down too. But this time he was wrong. <gasps> No matter how he huffed and puffed, the wolf just couldn't make this house fall down. The walls stood firm, they didn't even shake. I don't give up that easily, the sly wolf growled. Oh no, I'll climb onto the roof and down the chimney I shall go. Coming to get you called the wolf, whether you're ready or not. He slithered down the chimney and landed in a pot. Which was full of salty water, onions, carrots too. The piggies cheered, hip hip hooray, the wolf is in a stew. <laughs> <laughs> 